All right, this is uh, Tommy Reed. Uh, basically, I'll show you my little shop I have. Uh, what I'm uh, actually getting ready to do, I'm doing another version of the Clems engine. Uh, I believe this time I will I I should have this thing running the way it should be. On my last uh, Clems experiment, um, it actually did show some promising results, but due to the poor uh, hydrostatic motor that was in it, it actually seized up. So uh, going to be working on that. What I'm going to end up doing is using this uh, old uh, air tank as the main. Uh, uh, reserve for the hydraulic uh, fluid. I'm going to end up cutting all this off and doing some uh, modifications. What I'm going to basically do is create a implosion motor based on you might want to think about like a tornado. Most people really don't understand what's really happening in a tornado even though it's running off of the uh, hot air that's rising and vice versa. But what's really taking place is when a tornado is actually uh, uh, occurs, it actually sp takes a very special moment to actually occur and the rotation is the critical point. Once you get the rotation going, what happens is that warm air starts to cool rapidly causing it to create a, a vacuum inside the cyclone. So basically we're using hydraulics on this one or cooking oil, maybe even synthetic oil because it uh, has no flash point on that. And what we're going to end up doing is actually creating an implosion motor based on the Clems engine. The Clems engine was not what you see out there. It was actually a hydrostatic implosion motor. Uh, and the centripetal forces from the rotation with the hydraulic pumps, because it does have pumps in it, actually occurs. So I want to go through this and try to uh, show you... Uh, I'll explain exactly the theory of it maybe another video but right now this is the uh, bottom of the hydrostatic pump on the last model I did and what happens is this actually is my base this actually gets locked down to the uh, base of the, uh, the reserve tank itself and fluid is pumped up into a little turbine here that turbine then gets fed into the main pump but what I really need to do is get a vein pump uh, a vane motor itself. The vane motor is actually for higher speed. This actually locked up at around 1100 RPM. So I got to really modify. Right now I'm just going to be uh, cleaning up this tank, cutting it open, and uh, because I'm going to need this for my hydrostatic uh, uh, reserve for the uh, system itself. So I hope you enjoy this video. Talk to you later.